In this video, we're going to take a look at the difference between creating a hole with a circle or with the point tool. So to begin with, we're going to go over to sketch. We'll click on our face and then we'll hit a circle. This is going to be a quarter inch circle. Let's actually make it a half inch circle and we'll center it up on here with our dimensions, saying that it's a half inch from the bottom. And then from the side, it's also going to be a half inch. So normally we go through, finish that, we go to extrude, click on our closed loop and remove and we can just say through all and we're set there. We can also go in and go to sketch and click on here but this time instead of going to circle we're going to go to the point tool. The point tool doesn't give you all the dimensions that a circle would. Anytime you have a circle you need to give three dimensions. The point tool only requires two. We need to tell how far it is from the top or bottom. In this case we're going to click on 0.5 and then how far it is from the left or the right. In this case it's also going to be 0.5. Now Instead of going to extrude, there's nothing to extrude. There's just that singular point. What we're going to do instead is go to the hole tool. When we go to the hole tool, we'll have a bunch of other options. We can check what type of hole it is, whether it's a simple hole, which is just a round hole going through, a counterbore, or a countersink. So we'll go over to simple. We can say what the distance is, if it's a blind through or blind to last. In this case, we're going to have it be a through hole. We can set a standard if we want, and then we can also set the diameter. In this case, we're going to put 0.5. And all we need to do is select the point, and it will automatically make it for us. Now, these two holes look the exact same, and for right now, they do function the exact same. What we need to do to see the difference is go into a drawing. Now we have our drawing in place. If I go to dimension with the letter D and click on the first circle, you can see it has a diameter of 0.5. I can do the same thing with the second one, and it does the exact same thing. So you might be thinking there's no difference. But what I need to do now is go to hole and thread callout. When I click on that, I have no option to click on this circle because it's not set up as a hole. It's set up as a circle that's extruded. If I go over to this one now and click on it, you can see that I get much more information. So I get that it's a half inch diameter and that it's a through hole. Whereas in this one, I get no indication of how far down it goes. The additional thing that comes in here is if I need to change this hole, let's say we want it to be a counterbore, I can just right click on hole one, go to edit, and let's say instead of being simple, I want it to be a counterbore. The diameter of the counterbore itself is going to be 0.75. The diameter of the circle will be 1. And the depth of that counterbore, let's have that be a half inch. So now when I hit my green check and I go back to my drawing, all I have to do is hit my yellow update button. My drawing will automatically update as will my note. Now I can see that a half inch diameter through hole with a counterbore that's 0.75 that goes down a half inch. And that's the basics of how to use the hole and thread notes inside of OnShape.